happen to take a picture with my double chin, please do not take uh, tag me in Facebook. That's very important. Um, yes. Okay, we're going to be uh, talking about the master Google of Spanish today. Uh, but before that, just a little introduction about myself. That what I just mentioned, um, I actually very proud to uh, say that I able to complete and to complete the master of studies and the master specialist just one day. Um, and it is not as hard as you think it is, uh, but you get to learn more. Yes, and that is the main point of getting an ITC. It's not about getting the fame and so on, but the knowledge that you're going to obtain. And, um, ISCC actually is a world class membership and a world class certification program that developed for all of us tech studies like us uh, in order to teach and instruct us uh, in the latest trend, innovation, and techniques. So, if you want to know more and get a feel that what is ISCC all about, please go over to that table where we have set up uh, some brochures and related information. Actually, to the information later. Yeah, and I'll be also translating in Mandarin just in case. Um, but if I sometimes get to uh, concentrate in English, to stop me and say uh, Mandarin, please. Right? Uh, okay, for Chen Dongxing, the goal is in the Mian Taiwan. Now, I'm going to go to the Mian Taiwan, the master, and the master. The math at least is uh, one first. Uh, so, uh, in the next one, it is not your desire to learn the math. It is to learn more. To learn more, you feel the math. And uh, we have set up some related materials that you can use to make your own math. And um, okay, let's start. Um, I'm also very honored to be one of the founder of Pan College Group of Companies. Uh, our company actually includes the um, academy, obviously, my students over here. Uh, puppy cottage, everything relates to puppy, only the cat, uh, not puppy, the dogs only. Kitten cottage, everything related to cats. And our newly launched uh, is puppy cottage. It is actually a cat cafe. Uh, something like the Japan and the uh, Korea now, very famous. You know? so, uh, uh, it's at uh, Sumanjaya, uh, nearby Cambridge College there. So maybe after this seminar, all of you can go and enjoy the talk about me there together. And it is now right right off. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, maybe while I translate in Mandarin, maybe if you want to translate in Japanese, you can go ahead. Um, and um, okay, for Mandarin University, there is a lot of work in Japanese. 宠物店，狗的宠物店，猫的宠物店，我们是分开的。哎，我们最新的叫猫咪咖啡馆，猫咪咖啡馆。呃，像日本啊、韩国那些这样子流行的。不，我们没有掺全部的猫在一起。如果你对猫有很热情的话，你可以坐外面。还有一个 session 是有猫，一个 session 是没有猫。So， 在天乐高乐下边，好多学生的地带。对，你去那边你就觉得很亲。所以，呃，你们踊跃去吧。Okay, we are also featured by all these uh, press, uh, the newspaper, the radio station, and the Astro, and so on and so forth. And the award winning are such the company level and my personal achievement. Okay? Okay, without further ado. Okay, before we go into the table of content, uh, today's topic is we're going to talk about wonderful world of English. Uh, okay, Spaniards in Malaysia. You already know what? Poker Spaniard, English Poker Spaniard, American Poker Spaniard, right? Anything else that you know about Spaniard? Sadly, in Malaysia, there's the only two Spaniard that we have. And not only among us in the pet shop that we have to see, even the dog confirmation week, the show dog that you go for the confirmation, uh, you don't even get to see uh, other Spaniards. Yeah, I'm not sure related to that. Uh, I'm sure there are many Spaniards there. Yes, yes, they're rather. And um, actually, there are many, many more Spaniards that we're going to look at them to see them how beautiful and actually where they come from, what are they bred for, and uh, so on and so forth, so that we're able to appreciate them more. So that's 
so we'll talk about the gender appearance and everything, right? In Malaysia, Malaysia is the British mark, American doctor, English doctor. So, we actually have many of the British doctors who have never learned. And we don't even know that this is Spanish. So, Spanish is very important to have the British that we are very important. So that uh, in the Gong 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 Yes, I'm sure you know right, Emily. <laughs> um, to know about the standards, uh, the dogs, uh, we as a vet doctor, we know, okay, today is schnauzer coming. We know that schnauzer have to do this way, beard, eyebrow, and so on. But it's all being recorded in our head. But actually, it is all recorded in the standard. Standard or the part of the Bible, in my language. So they will tell you the standards. Okay, this dog is supposed to be 10 inch, the eye round, the ear long, short, high, low, um, the body has to be compact, long, short, low, everything. So if you look at the standard and you uh, just follow a few words that they talk about, and the dog is a perfect dog. Right? So that's what the standard asks for. But in real life, there's no perfect dog. So that's where. We, as a mover, comes in and we are able to transform the imperfectness to something as close as the ideal green standard that is supposed to be. So by understanding the standard, so you know, okay, this standard has for this, 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 so you can actually um, create the illusion that the dog has a better body, has a better body structure that the dog actually is supposed to have. So um, that's or we call it corruption grooming and we're going to talk about it more during the demo later and okay why you um uh uh okay on when the standard where's the one that's going to be up nobody will talk the standard they just will talk the where's the one that's going to be up 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 where's the one 为什么扫过我们叫 toy？ 全部这些都是记载在 standard 里面，所以在 standard 里面，他所讲的每一句话呈现出来的那一只狗，一定是完美的狗。所以没有没有这样的东西的 ，there's no 完美狗的。So what you can do is， 我们怎么进呀？我们还有饭吃，我们才有有那个机会来呈现那个狗，把那些不好的盖起来，把好的呈现出来。So, this is our best work, okay? Our best way to present this thing. Because we use our skills, our skills, to learn the things, to make it out of the dog. Okay? That's what I say in this way. Let's look at the table of content. Yeah, look at this. Okay. We're going to talk about the Spanish origin from the start of Lion. Okay. And we'll talk about the Spanish breeds. Like I said, there are many, many other Spanish breeds. Um, and we'll do a comparison of the grooming in the American Cocker and the English Cocker, as these are the two most popular breeds in Malaysia. So, we will not compare the two breeds in Malaysia. We will not compare the two But I will also touch a little bit on the English Premier Spaniel. That is because it's very closely related to the English Cocker, actually. But we'll talk about it more. 它跟我们的 English Dog 是很大的关联，所以我一定要放大一点点。Okay. And we do the demo. Our demo today is Dolly over here. Um, and the last thing, the Q and A section. If you if you have any question, we can ask you in the last part. Okay. Uh, what's next? Okay, we will talk about the Spanish origin. Okay. So who are Spaniels? What are they bred for? Why are they so important to us? Uh, okay, let's read this. A spaniel is a type of sporting dog. 
We only talk about the spaniel that are under sporting group, uh, sporting group uh, because there are many other spaniels that are in other toy group and so on and so forth. But we concentrate on the sporting dog. And it is assumed spaniel originated from Spain, as the word spaniel may be derived from Hispania or possibly from the French phrase. Chesnudi espanol, any French here, so you want to correct me? <laughs> okay, I'm not sure of that. Okay, Spaniels are also known as the flushing dogs, that is very important. That's what they are bred for. As the, because Spaniel were especially bred to flush in out of the dance brush. What does it mean? It's as shown in the picture. They, their job is to, um, maybe you call chase in the linen term, and for the duck or all the birds and uh, rabbit and so on and so forth, they were actually um, uh, then got scared and jumped up so that the, aid, the hunter is able to see them from far and aid and shoot them down. That's their game. Okay? And also, Spaniel, one thing very special, they can work as a one-man show or sometimes they can work as a king group. When they work as a one-man show, they do everything by themselves. They hunt, they hunt, uh, they go and they, 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 they. Mandarin. Oh, Mandarin. Oh, okay. Um, then back after this. Okay. Um, they hunt. They go and hunt themselves. After that, the the hunter shoot. Then um, they they hunt and then they flush. Then the hunter can be able to see and shoot. Then um, they also know where the bird died and go down and they mark the place and go and pick it up and trim it back to the hunter with their soft mouth. Okay, so one that show. But when they are working as a teamwork, they are very smart. Teamwork, they will work together with other sporting group. Other sporting group actually they have not uh, many other breeds, not only Spaniel, they have, they have pointing dogs, they have setter, they have uh, and uh, retriever, yes. So what they do is pointer. When pointer, what do they call pointer? It's because they point. They will go to the to the place and they will point. Okay, this is where the prey is. That's where the all the monkeys or rabbits are there. And the setters will go and see where are they. So as they go, they saw. Okay, you freeze them. Then I was standing. Okay, here, here I come. Flush them up, and the hunter shoot. At the end, our retriever will go and collect them back to give up to the owner, to the hunter. It's very, very smart teamwork. So, okay, finally, um, when the Spaniel is专门把那些猎物追弹起来，从那个我们那个猎人才能够看到他们，是他们，是他们的 game 呢？ So, if you do a bow sun bow hai, if you have a bow sun bow hai, you can see the bow sun bow hai. You can see the bow sun bow hai. You can see the bow sun bow hai. Then, you can see the bow sun bow hai. You can see the bow sun bow hai. Then, you can see the bow sun bow hai. But, if the owner is a bow sun bow hai, you can see the bow sun bow hai. So然后我们的Spaniel就到了,他就去空气,把他们弹起来。然后喊的才看得到他们手上。过后最后,不是他去拿,retriever去把他捡回来。是很聪明。是他们的这几位知道他们怎样做的,以前这些狗。所以,我就
Before 17th century, huh, English and Springer were recognized as one breed and they were differentiated by size back then. So that's why I say they are very closely related. They were actually the same. So that's why we say English and Springer are better than anything. And what are they bred right for? They were used to hunt in a dense cover, flushing and retrieving game. So what I show here? They are bred for one purpose, hunting. The natural abilities are extremely high, and the desire to hunt is only exceeded by the desire to eat. Yes, English doctor love to eat. You give her a toy or a food, they will definitely choose the food first. Yes. Um, they are very natural retrievers and excellent at marking down game. Their bird finding abilities is second to none, and their size is compensated by their heart. Meaning to say that even though they look small, but they can hunt very well. And that's what the hunter loved them so much. And they were very smart too. Uh, okay, I'm out of the video. Uh, in Chinese, uh, we the most loud is Spaniel. Okay? Um, they were the same as Spring and Spaniel. They were the same as brother and sister. They were the same as 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 大的就叫小的啊，Springer。啊，大的就叫Hawker。啊，小的。大的叫Springer。小的叫啊，English Okay, let's look at the um, coat type. The coat type is flat or slightly wavy, silky in texture. As you can see in the picture, it's so shiny and healthy. So that is what the coat is supposed to be. And yes, when grooming a spaniel, one thing very important to look at, they have to look very natural. grooming spaniels, more spaniels are hot. 你一定要给他觉得他是天生来造的，他不是我们做的很内很浓的美感的，他要给人家觉得他是生出来就这样漂亮的。But of course, we're not doing this with you, but this is natural makeup. But we will show you later. Okay, the general appearance height at meters is between 15 to 17 inches. Okay, where's meters? Yes, yes, correct. My student, where's meters? <laughs> okay, it's here. Okay? Okay, this is meters. So the height of meters, meaning here to the ground, is 15 to 17 inches. It's compactly built and short covered. With the height of the meters, height of the meters here is slightly more than the distance from the meters to the set on the tail. So this is longer than this. So you can see it's very long. 它不是我们每次看到的英国标题是好像很长这样子的这其实它们真正要的是这个样子 And the English hawker is a solid built dog with as much bone and substance as is possible without becoming cloudy or coarse Meaning they have to look like they as though that they are still not too skinny and things like that But cannot be good to look at all They cannot kind of look good but they will kind of like too dry down or like too dry down and the head is especially characteristic and strong, yet free from coarseness, softly contoured, without sharp angles, soft melting, yet dignified, alert and intelligent expression is the distinctive of the breed. So in all the Spaniards, you will notice that they will talk a lot about the head and the expression, because in Spaniard, that is the whole main important features of the dog. So when you groom the dog, the the very important features when you groom them, you have to look at the head. How do you create the expression up? How do you create the softness that they are talking about? So, and with Donnie, we'll show you later too. Okay, let's talk about our English doctor. Next, our brother. Oh, Bari, yeah, I like. Our English doctor. Um, 你要注意到的是你剪的时候他们的头都是他们的 
他的整个的那个神经，你看过我的那个神经，是在睡觉还是在哥哥？有没有？说那个神经是他们最重要的。不用说是在那里，他们都通常都会讲到他的头，或者是头，还有他们的那个呃神经，他们叫狗的那个样子。所以他们一定要跟治疗师讲，这样温柔的。你看到他没有能化掉的，我不知道现在马来马来西亚的老板有没有讲啊，还是咬人啊 ？OK， 嗯，呃，他们也要是看到很冷的，知道什么事情在发生的，反正他在他家里面，我一直要知道这样子。我告诉他，等下也是会讲到。哎，呃，还要看到很聪明，他们知道你要什么，你要跟他坚持一下，他他也知道。So yeah, that's our English grammar study. And yes, I can proceed with the big brother here. Like I mentioned, the big brother uh, is the one to spring the game. While the smaller one just now, the English rubber, they actually hunted the root cow. So the first reference to the springer refers to a land spaniel in the late 1500. The dog was called no folk spaniel and was changed to springer spaniel in the 1900s. Uh, it was actually named no folk spaniel back then. That is because actually no folk that plays those times, there is a duke. Oh, they're able to produce a very, very nice uh, springer spaniel. So when that is nice, human dog, like, okay, that dog is called of spaniel. You know, they will just follow the person. But later on, they will call springer spaniel. I think maybe the reason because they like to spring the game. What do you mean spring the game? Meaning they're very capable one actually. When they flush a dog, right, they also capable, capable want to jump on and catch the prey. So sometimes, uh, the, the uh, actual research say that the hunter doesn't really like them at times because as they also jump up, the hunter want to aim up, then they also can put people swim up, it actually affects their aiming. So that is why they can uh, not so popular sometimes. Yeah. And, okay, how you? How the uh, the 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 他在那边帮那个猎人去把他那些呃那些猎物弹起来的时候，他们给我给我要去咬他们，就是帮他们咬下来。所以，他他又要咬，哦，那个那个汉德又要去吃他们，所以他视线啊已经被呃散了。所以很多时候呃汉德不是很喜欢这一点呐、啊，就是没没设计好。OK， and they are bred for the to 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 cover the rough ground with the agility and reasonable speed. They are known as a gamekeeper's dog whose purpose is to find, flush, and fetch game. One man show again. They are a workaholic who work tirelessly in the field all day. Yes, if you were to happen to have one springer standing in the chair to come to your salon, you may want to actually wear them down first before you start grooming. Um, if you have a meal at home uh, or in the salon, you may want to make them run in half an hour before you want to put them on the table so that it's easier to handle them because they really. Very high energy. So, 下次如果你真的是有机会捡到这一只狗，你要记得它是不会累的。So, you may be 要呃、uh, 有那个跑步机啊，跑步机呢，啊，你就给它跑，跑半个小时了，你才给它放进那个桌子里来弄它，所以它会比较安稳一点。这是我的建议啦。Okay, let's look at the coat type. The coat type is、um, something like the English Cocker Spaniel. It has an outer and an under coat. Has a clean, glossy, light appearance, indicating the good health. So beautiful, springer that it is very healthy coat. And the general appearance, medium size with ideal height at the shoulder is 19 to 20 inches. So the height at the shoulder, it's also here, is 19 to 20 inches. The length of the body, the leg, the measure from the point of shoulder this time. Point of shoulder is here. Okay, come right here. To the point of our top, point of our top here, is greater than the height at the wilderness. So this dog actually is a little bit longer as compared to the English dog as well, as maybe their size is bigger. So that's how it's supposed to be. The eyes, more than any other features, are the accent of the spring of cute. The eye are the medium size and over in shape, rather set rather well apart and very deep in the soccer. Again, they are talking about the eye, the expression, and they have to look like they, um, uh, they have the uh, look that uh, everybody looks for. As you see, they know this is English uh, spring perspective. And the stop. Where is the stop? 
No. <laughs> Stop. Okay, yes, Hanami, it's here. Uh, as I always tell students, how you know where to stop? You run through your finger from the nose and then you stop there before you can walk over the scar. So that's where the stop is. That's very easy to remember. So the, we are talking about where is it? The stop. Yes, the scar, the eyebrow, and the chiseling of the body structure around the eye sockets contribute to the springless, beautiful, and characteristic expression which is a learn, time, and trusting. Again, they are talking about all the expression, you have to look very good, and not very soft, and now you need to just come in here. <laughs> okay, because the light is here. Okay, um, and the eyebrow, the eyebrow, they always talk about eyebrow, if you notice. Meaning the eyebrow have to be clearly defined. So you have to define the eyebrow, meaning you have to make it no hair here. So the eyebrow will pop up and show the very defined eyebrow. Okay, the chiseling of the bony structure, meaning um, below the eye socket here, they have the, like a bony thing will go in and show all the bone here. That's just what they mean for. So it's not that ladies don't look so skinny, right? The bone can see. No, this is called chiseling of the eyes, and it's supposed to look like this. And of course, they're talking about the candelous ears, long ears, the soft expression again, the sturdy view, and the friendly wagging tail proclaim them a member of ancient family of Spaniards. Yes, most of the Spaniards they just wag tail. So yeah, they come out of Spaniards, they are also into their own father. Not just happy, they are happy, they are happy, they are happy. So, this is his particular place. And he talked a lot about the things that are his eyes, his face, his face, and the last one is the same. They are the same. They are the same. They are the same. So, of course, I'm not very happy. I'm not very happy. So, you have to be very happy. And, um, that's our Springer Spaniard. Okay, we talked about American Doctor Spaniard. Yes. Origin, they are the smallest of the Spaniard in the sporting group. Even though it looks a little bit big because it's a bit oversized, but they're supposed to be the uh, smallest one. And known as a cocker Spaniard in the United States, while elsewhere in the world, it's called American Cocker Spaniard. Because, yeah, if here we say Cocker Spaniard, you say which one? American or English. So that's why we have to say English. So in the US, we will just say Cocker Spaniard. And it is also evolved from English soccer to one with a shorter back and longer leg. As compared to the English soccer, you can see it's shorter back and it's taller. To provide more flexibility in the field, that's what we believe, they are also known as the Mary Cocker. Yes, like I say, all the cocker like to back tail. Yes. Donny? Donny! <laughs> see? Yeah! Okay, they are very happy. They are not going to be able to get your money. They are going to be able to get your money. But they are very happy. They are very happy. Okay? And he is also from English Cocker. He is 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 from English Cocker. And um, we are here to call American Cocker Spaniel, but in the US, we don't have to call American Cocker Spaniel, they don't call Cocker Spaniel. We have other places, we have English, we have American. Okay? Brad Ford, they are desired to hunt render him a capable good dog. He covers territory speedily, one that works closely with Hunter. Meaning they are actually not afraid of the gun sound. Boom! Very loud. They are still not scared. You try to pull and see right now, see Johnny will run away or not? So that's our dog right now. But those times, they have to be very steady. Short home, they are still steady. So very easy, they still want to see. And they will flush again into the air so that it can be short. One man show again here. Then they find the fallen bird and gently brings it back to the hunter. Due to their size, due to the compact size, they crops into the brush and grasses to dig for the largest planet. It takes to water greatly. Yes. Some of the hunter, when they go some of the brushes um, area, they like it uh, to have a smaller one so that they can able to go in the places. But bear in mind that actually some breeder or uh, some hunter, because uh, the brushes is different different places, sometimes they may prefer the bigger one. So when they want a smaller one, they will love them. And they also can swim very well. Women in the hunter, um, 
，里面最小的了。所以有些那些东东啊啦，他们也能够嗯嗯嗯就去搞定他们。所以有些地方他们要大致的来帮助他们，他们去找那些比较大致的，不会找他们咯。But depends on depends on the hunter, and he is also very good. But so we start with the tribe. And okay, the coat type, the coat type is silky, flat, and slightly wavy enough under coat to give protection. So you can see that it is very silky, it is very natural. The moving part, you just want to see that it is like the sea, but it is not very smooth. But it is almost perfect. Okay, and general appearance, the ideal height at the middles, again middles. For the adult, it's 14 to 15 inches, so it's really kind of small. The measurement from the breastbone, this time is breastbone, we're not talking about point of shoulder. Breastbone is, ah, okay, wait. Breastbone is here, rather than here, okay? So breastbone is here. So we're talking about the breastbone to the back of thigh. It's slightly longer than the measurement from the highest point of shoulder to the ground. So it is a little bit longer, but they have a sturdy, compact body. Even though they look a bit long, but you don't want them to look really longish. You still want them to look compact, okay? So and a cleanly chisel and refined head again. The, the chisel and the, the head is the important features of this breed. Uh, with the toppings, uh, the top line sloping slightly towards strong, moderately bent muscular contours. Right, top line. Top line, top line, top line. Yes. Okay. This part is actually sloping. You see, and um, it's what it's supposed to be. Our American dog is a little bit long, but it's not too long. But you cut them out, you don't want them to feel like it's too long because it's still very long. It's very compact. It's very compact. 集中很紧皱的，所以你又要长又要紧皱，是吗？你看，我们就是这样的，他们讲，就是说，我们 groom 他的时候，我会 show 你怎样做，这个又长，然后看起来又 compact 的样子 ，OK， and 他的 top line 刚才他 show 你的是斜的 ，OK， and we'll talk about these three bits ah in the slide. Remember, we'll do about the comparison grooming method, and of course I'll do the demo. So let's look at other specimen now. The Fido Spaniel is developed in 19th century England. This breed was originally bred to be pure black and have the tremendous body length and the loneliness to be young. Like a chunk out. Those times, not this time. This is after they had to re-establish it. Those times, they were long and short and black color. So that time, a lot of hunters actually don't like, don't like to use them because it's not efficient enough in the field work. And at the end, uh, some a group of uh, breeder they try to re-establish the breed and reproduce the longer leg and the shorter body, so and lighter color. So at the end, they become like as the picture shown. Uh, but even though after this, yes, some hunters have to use them already, but it is still believed they are the rarest of spaniel breeds even until today. Yeah. Um, I don't know why, we still don't have some life, but not many people will wear them right now. Hopefully, it won't have seen. Um, it's a kind of hay, you tang, you pie. So, a lot of hunters don't like them. Because it's not very efficient. It's not very efficient. It's not very efficient. It's not very efficient. So, 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 it's not very efficient. And after that, so then yes lah, our the 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 but retain the cocker's narrow disposition, yes, the way we feel thing, and affection personality. Used to find flush and retrieve both fur and feather from land and water. This time, we can do at the land and also go into the water and help the hunter. The field spaniel is versatile and intelligent and excel in hunting. Yes, they are really intelligent. So, hopefully, I get to see them one day in Malaysia um, because they are really very smart. 
我们的这个搭过 English 广告一点，所以如果那个啊猎人需要比较大一点的，又要像 English 广告这样聪明的，他们就用它。OK， 呃、um, ，Let's look at the cord type. This time the cord type is single. OK, moderate long, flat or slightly wavy, silky and glossy. Dense and water repellent. They have to be water repellent because they have to go into the water. So, uh, this time their that mouth is actually can work in the water. There is no such thing as water repellent. Because they have to cover their mouth a little bit. Because they have to cover their mouth a little bit. Okay. And abundant of coats. Okay. 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 因为他们觉得他已经没有呃，他没有这样呃厉害方式在又在陆地又在水上在工作，所以呃我们不要他们太多了 ，OK？ So in the last show you see now there is getting more and more， 呃、uh, that is how the latest trend is coming about already now they because they are no longer in the deep anymore right they are more of the dark show of the dark and so on and so forth the general appearance moderate and well balanced。Ideal height for mature adults and the widows. Widows again is 17 to 18 inches. A well-balanced dog, somewhat longer than tall. The ratio they are very specific. The ratio they have to be seven six. The seven six is actually the point of the widows uh, is six, and from the point of shoulder to the point of buttock is seven. So it is a bit still a bit longer. The nasal bone is straight. And slightly divergent from parallel, sloping downwards toward the nose from the plane of the top scalp. As you can see, the nose here is straight, but it's slightly diverged down to the nose. That is what's so special about this breed. And they're talking about the head again. Renowned for a beautiful head with expressive brows. Prosternum, prosternum is actually here. It's prominent and well fleshed. Wet feet. Wet feet is what? Anybody know? Wet feet. Hello? Show me, sir. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay
which allow him to come up very close to the gate. He is a methodical walker in the field, developed specifically for hunting upland game in the dense cover. He is a great swimmer too. Yes, don't forget the size of the young man, how you look at this little Dependable in the field that retrieves through the brush. Through the brush rather than around and over it. It means, like I said, some hunters they prefer a larger one because some of the brushes, some of the yen chow in there, it needs a big brush to go through it. So they prefer to go through it. So if they prefer the bigger one, like I mentioned, small, they will use the small one. They like the big one, they will love him. Because even though the brushes is very thick and you know how, they will still be able to go through it, like dinosaur or something, I don't know. Uh, rather than go around it and waste a lot of time, so maybe the prey will run away by then. Okay, next. The coat type. The body coat is dense, straight and flat, same thing. It is a good weather resistant texture because it's not a swing, which is soft to touch, not harsh. White coat allows him to be seen by the hunter easily. Remember our field spaniel just now? Hey, hey, the nobody like. So this is white, that is why they like them so much. Because they're able to see them. That's where the dog is, and they're able to see clearly. Most likely they hunt during the night time, I'm not too sure. Um, we are talking about white, so we are talking about white. We are talking about white, so we are talking about white. We are talking about white, so we are talking about white. We are talking about white, so we are talking about white. So white, they are talking about white. So they are talking about white. So they are talking about white. The general appearance, the plumber is rectangular in shape. As you can see, it is rectangular, not square, not compact. Possessing massive bone structure and has the appearance of great power, obviously, they did boom 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 boom, just go, they really very powerful. The, the ideal height for the dog is 17 to 20 inches, it's slightly bigger. With the ratio, and very specifically again, 11. 11 is where? Readers to the base of tier. Readers to the base of tier. 11, huh? And 9 is the readers to the floor. So it's uh, really a little bit longer. The clumber standard is a long, low, substantial dog. Slackness of throat and throat are not to be shaped. Yes, when you're grooming this dog next time, remember, this area is very important. They must have a lot of hope. As you, if you notice, just now what we discussed on the spaniel, this area are being clipped very short. But this, you have to leave a of head. That is their signature. And they have a good net of frill. So, this area is very important for grooming them. So, but one thing, they also like to drool. <laughs> because of the see the mouth. So, when you groom them and you are not attending to the head, sometimes you are doing the behind and the foot, maybe you want to wear a beat, you know, for them before you want to groom them. Or otherwise, when you reach the head, the time is all wet and all the sticky thing here, really. So, yes. Uh, Very good neck feel. Okay, the head is massive. Obviously, it's a big one with a mark stop. Very obvious stop again, and a heavy brown. The eyes are large, soft in expression. Even though this dog is so big, they still want a soft expression. That is our spaniel. Okay? And it's deep set in the either a diamond shaped ring, diamond shaped ring, meaning you know, when you draw the eyeliner, that's a ring. So it's either a diamond shape, diamond shape. Or a V at the bottom, and not so uh, V on top, it's just a curve on the top, it's also okay. And the tail are well feathered. They are very small, but 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 they are very small. Yeah, you can see it. Ah, your eye is not. Okay, sorry, my hair press. Should I press this way? Yeah. Ah, wow, I'm so sorry. Okay, you will get another five minutes for lunch because of my delay. Um, okay. Sure. You want to 
So that's what makes the bridge so popular and special. But sadly, after that, uh, when horse is really being introduced, they no longer walk on foot. So they are getting faster and faster popular. Okay. Before they are walking, so this place, our success factor, they are still alive. They are still alive. Because when they are walking, they are still walking. They are still walking. So after that, they are still walking. So after that, they are still walking. So after that, they are still walking. But they still have a little bit more. They will use their hands to show their hands to the owner. I don't know if they have a problem. They just know that this is their own problem. They will use their hands to the owner. Okay? Okay. 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 They have a well marked field in the coat. Okay, here, button of hair here. Okay? The general appearance, the height of the success fender as measured at the readers ranges from 13 to 15 inches, kind of low. The success fender presents a rectangular outline, obviously, as the brick is longer in body than it is tall. Correct head and expression are very important features of the brick, but this time, the head, they are talking about head expression again, huh? but no more soft. Take a look. They want it somber, they want it serious, and the heavy brows produce a frowning expression. And the indentation in the middle of scar and muzzle should be approximately three inches long, broad, square, and profile. This is the beak, the muzzle, muzzle, and the mouth. You can see from stop to the beak, that is called muzzle, three inches. Okay, and the tail should have five to eight inches long tail action. Also very specific, about five to seven inches. That's their general appearance. Yeah, look at something different. Look at it. It is very different from the rest that we just discussed. Can you imagine this is Spanish? It's a curly coated one this time. Um, okay. It is a dog of very ancient lineage. And there is evidence of Irish water Spaniards have been made going back as far as the 7th and the 8th century CD. Often called a clown. How much are you talking the Spaniard? Why? Look at the top knot. The top knot has a lot of curly hair, and in between the eyes, also all curly curly here. It's just like the clown wearing the so they have a tail, tail tail, okay? And they are the tallest of our spider. Yes, the size is about golden retriever, so it's really very tall. Yes. And how to gather balls? He is a grand water dog, not because less water. But because his coat is naturally water shedding, 
that for this reason he is used in some part of the country as a duck retriever, although he is not quite acceptable in the upland game because of his coat tends to catch on briars. Together with his curly coat and red tail, many uniquely qualified for water. Yes, if you want to bring a poodle or a pisha to go into the long grasses, what do you think they will bring back home? All the corns, all the yin tao, you know, and so on and so forth. So they are not very popular in the upland limbs. They are meant to work in the water and they are very good swimmer. And of course with the top curly coat and the red tail. When you see the tail is very special, huh? it's like a lao su, lao su ba. This is the special place. And it is our local local Okay. The coat type, as you can see, it is from Marcel. What is Marcel? Meaning it's uniform waves. Uniformly waves, whole body, you see? To closely curl. It is important to have undercoat to provide sufficient density to be a protection against weather, water, or punishing cover, yet not to cause it to soft. Yes, when they need to work in the water, most of their coat, if you notice, they have to be water repellent and um, you know, very protected you know, from the cold or things that happen in the water. So that's what the coat, the, the, the coat is for. But, have you ever wondered, if you want to groom this stock next time, how you want to go about it? This curly is myself. Any suggestion? Hands is over. But do you want to blow the hair straight first, like a puddle? No? Okay. No? Anybody else here? Yes? Actually, both works well. Some people, they like to blow straight as possible, like our puddle or the shams, then you put that. Then, the cell that will hold into uh, the wavy curve. How they do that? After you grow, then you spray the water bottle on them, uh, just a spring water, or you just uh, mix a little bit of conditioner in it, and you just spray all over. And you use the pin brush. You know what a pin brush is, right? The long one about our hair, yes. Um, pin brush. Yes, you use this that to actually comb them back while they are still wet. Then the mascara will fall. That's how they do it. Even in the competition, a lot of people do that. Because they believe to give a better finishing because it's really all up and really even hair, then you can sell that. But of course, there's also no wrong if you don't want to um, spray it straight and cut. Because some people just say, oh, I don't want the hassle anymore. I just want it to, uh, to look natural. Remember natural? So they will just grow like this. And you will still have the good finishing. So it's up to you. Okay? General appearance. It's a medium length dog, making it slightly rectangular in appearance. Yes, the picture is slightly rectangular. They're not supposed to be compact and um, short again this time because they're not supposed to have leggy or coarse. The leg cannot be too tall. Okay? The height between 21 to 24 inches, measured at the highest point of readers. It's very tall, golden size. But they are. Okay? Covered with a top knot of long loose curl and a body covered with a dense, crispy, liver colored coat contrasted by the smooth face and the smooth black tail. <coughs> there is also a beard around the trunk area. Yes, I forgot to mention the success player. The only color comes with a liver color. Same thing, this dog, the only color they have is liver color. Okay? And the top knot is long loose, like we mentioned, like the crown. And um, the face is smooth. And the tail is actually also smooth. It's not like a puddle. You want it clean face, then we just pay it straight. Like, actually, no hair. Face no hair, tail no hair. Maybe just a little bit that you just need to touch up, make it more natural. Okay? And there's a beard around the throat here. What does it mean? Look at this picture here. Can you all see? The beard actually is falling here down. When you groom them, a lot of people do the shot from the throat here out, which is wrong. That's not what the standard calls for. They want it from here, come down for the beard. You have to leave that. That is the specialty of this breed. Okay? We have this dog, the dog. It has this color. It has this color. And we have a success story. I don't want to say it's this color. So I think we really like this color. And the head is not long. The head is not long. 其实不是好像我们的，我觉得我们要天天常常有毛的，它其实天生真的是没有毛的，里面有一点只要找它一下吧。OK， 
and the beer, it has a 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 beer, but some people even leave it all the way to the beer here, to the beer here, yeah, but well, the, but at least this is the important one, 记得是从上面下, 很多人流的时候是从这边流出, 出了这个这边就倒下来了, 不对, 所以它的变性在这里, 特地给你们看这道题的意思, okay? Okay. Our last one is American Water Spaniel. Okay, this dog also actually nobody knows where it comes from. Um, it is, um, but they believe that in US, already many people are using them. And their color, coat, and combination combined that the ancestor include the Irish Water Spaniel just now, we just discussed. And the curly coated retriever. Yes, you will start the coat lion, put on the tile, but the young zi, first more you'll be in the zi, see if you have the Irish water spaniel, that's not a subsidian, time the off, curly coated retriever. Sorry, I've been down, but it's a tile. And this small dog with a waterproof coat and keen nose could hunt through rough thickets, spring game, and retrieve four men again from land and water. Often marking several fallen birds before retrieving them all and failing. What does it mean? He is very smart. When I say one man show or work as a team, when as the hunter should, right, they will go and collect back, that's it, right? But this dog, no. The hunter should, 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 should. Maybe four or five, right? Yeah, not bad, nah. not so good. Nah. And they will know where it was just now the prey actually dropped out. And then one shot, they will go and collect back off to the hunter. Very smart. So, when we talk about the dog, it's not just you set one or one. It's possible that the dog is shot a few times, or a few times, he knows where to go. He will go and take it one time. He will come back here. It's a six or eight, right? It's a good one. I don't know. Okay, he swings like a seal. His tail serves as a ruler. He is like 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 a ruler. 所以真的是 turbulence water， 你们就 help them swim at the sea。所以我在很急的时候，他们也是能够游得很厉害，然后还爆浆。And he desired to please make him easily talk. In addition, he is an efficient watchdog who fits agreeably into family circle. Can you see this dog is really multi-purpose? He knows how to take care of house, he knows how to work, and he knows how to please the owner. So actually, by, by, by even today, the people actually still want them to maintain who they supposed to be, even if it's today. So you actually don't really see them in the dog show, like in today, and you don't actually see them as normal pet companion that eats the player. They still want them to maintain what they're supposed to be for. So, this is very smart dog. You can work, you can do work, you can be very smart. Because it's very smart, you can tell them to train. So even now, you can't see them in the show. 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 So, they don't have to do it. They can't do it. They can't do it. They can't do it. Okay? Let's look at the next one. Okay, let's look at the next one. Code. The code is actually the same as the Irish Water Spaniel, so I think that's what they suggest that the ancestor of them. How the code from the little of the Irish in Korea is ranges from Marcel to closely curled. Important is the under code, it provides sufficient density to give protection against weather, water, punishing cover. Because it is in the water, so it is in the water, and it is in the water, and it is in the water. General appearance, medium size, of course, a dozen, 15 to 18 inches for either sex. Slightly longer than tall, 跟我们的 Irish 一样，不可以太 compact， 因为它 not too small, not too compact， 还要有一点长。Okay, the breed has as much substance and bone as necessary to carry the muscular structure, but not as much to appear clumsy. Forehead covered with short, smooth hair, and without top knot. 它的头上没有毛的，这有点丑了嘛。那这是它的样子啦，很难讲，那可能你们觉得怎样？ But when you groom them, the ear may be shaped or left natural, so it's up to you. And it's wet toe. Again, you have to work in the water. So the wet, the wet, wet toe. Yeah, it's okay. 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 That's all our spaniels that we don't have in Malaysia. Aren't they interesting? So get one, buy them back. Okay. 
Okay, let's look at the grooming now. Groomers, look at this. Let me sit down. Huh? Okay, <coughs> look at the American Cocker Spaniel. We will be looking at American and Cocker first because that's the only two breeds that we have in Malaysia. Look at number one, the head here. The head here is rounded with no flatness, yeah? Cannot be burnt, it can be burnt. Here, here, here. Our English here is slightly flattened. Arch, arch is from the side, side. But on top is flattened. Okay, different, yeah? And the pronoun stop. Remember, our stop and to be very obvious. And to stop, they are to go to Moderate stop in this conversation. It's just a yoga. It's a good one. 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 Okay. We'll talk about the mother land. We're talking about this to here. Okay. From the nose to the stop, this area is one. Here to the crown is two. So means one, two, three. Okay, this is what they, they ask for. One, two, three. And by our English talker, can you see? One, one. It's the same. That is what they call for. Let's look at the ear. Ear is about the same. It's about at the light eye level here. Huh? Not too high, not too low. It's about the eye level here. Same, our English talker about the eye level. Okay, look at the neck now. Neck. Look at this first. Long neck. They have a long neck. An arch. Moderate neck. You know, it's hard. Yes, the arch. What do you mean by arch? Anybody know? Curve, curve like that. On top here. On top here. Yes, you are very smart. Would it have been a demo like that? Okay, this is the arch that we are talking about. It just has from the ossicle down and then arch to the neck. So like a V, like a soft V, this is arch. And we'll show that in the vertical cocker since you can come to see. And the top line we discussed both about the same sloping, slightly sloping, slightly. Okay, this dog, abundant of hair. Hair, 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 hair. Abdomen and legs are well feathered and bevel. Bevel means up like this. Up like this. Two of the underline. Underline here. Four balance. Did you know the underline has a little bit of a tone? I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to So it is a bevel to lie. Tie your balance. And it will show a well animated appearance. I will show you how to have the bevel and make it as though the dog has a very good structure. 45, 45, 30, 60, 30, 60, you don't know? <laughs> we'll talk about it later at the demo, okay? Don't worry. Okay, this one. No hair here? No hair here. Why? The coat should lie flat. Am I? Can you see? The coat should lie flat and close to the skin on the forearm, meaning here and the side of the front leg. No, no, short hair. A lot of people are confused. Here, why some cocker are not hair on? Because that shit is not covered up. It's actually from the front hair here, here, and the side, no hair. The hair comes from where? Comes from behind. Behind. So when you do this area, be careful. You want to make sure the hair all comes from behind. Otherwise, especially if the hair comes from elbow, then when the dog walk, it will explore that the dog, the, the dog is walking like this. <laughs> it's very ugly. It's like the elbow is up. So make sure the hair is all in. Oh, wow! It's not very nicely. That's what the horse walk. And the behind, same thing here. They're talking about the hot hair. Hot hair, ma. Hot hair, right? Anybody know? Yes? I know you know. <laughs> Anybody else know here? Yeah, hot? Hot hair. And the coat in front and the side of the coat is short. Same as this. Front and side, no hair. Huh? But this is not the whole thing, only the hop down here, no hair. Front, side, no hair. But the hair comes from behind, same thing. But the behind, you still want to trim it to make it neaten. But you don't trim too close. Why? If you want to trim too close, this bone here, look like this. So small. So, if you cut more, you have to leave some hair, then the bone look like bigger. Because the standard just now we say what? Well, it's supposed to have substance. So if it's too small, it's a little bit of muscle. 
。所以你要留一点点毛，这是我们时间干的地方，就是我刚才所讲的，你了解了三个，你才能做 correction。OK， and this two done. What is the difference between our Springer, Springer, and our English Cocker Spaniel? It's very beautiful dog. Seriously, it's very beautiful. But the only differences, uh, I would say, the two main differences that we need to know when we are them as a groomer, as a pet stylist, is number one. Remember the side scar here we're talking about uh, just now. Oh, uh, I skip this chickiness actually because to explain this. No chickiness, meaning his mouth and his eyes can't be pulled out. No, okay. And this one same thing. Side scalp in pain parallel to muzzle. What does it mean? Means that when you look at the dog from front, the muzzle is the same as the scalp. One line. No up, no up here. Same line. But look at our this famous man. The muzzle width is. Half the scalp, meaning the scalp are one broader, and the muzzle actually just half. So this is uh, the main difference when you groom them. And the other two, the other one that is very important is look at the stifle here. Stifle, stifle is here. Stifle is here. Stifle is where the, the dog bend and they get the stifle. Okay, the stifle here, the hair here, a lot of hair, right? A lot of hair here, right? Can you notice any difference? Look carefully. Is there any difference? You want to try, Amy? If you can see closely, the hair here, the cipher, comes from outside and inside. So it's more. But if you see here carefully, the hair actually comes from inside. The outside actually no hair. This is the only very obvious uh, thing that when you're moving the uh, fingers down here. The hair here is from behind, no? come down, and then it connect back up here, but it's connecting the inside hair here. Not the outside. This outside here, no hair. Seriously, no hair. <laughs> okay, that is the main difference. Okay? Everybody got it? Huang Yu, she has one. Who she has? Okay, um, I'm going to talk about this. Okay, I'm going to talk about this. 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 I'm going to the dog has to be parallel. But this one, no. His head is one. His mouth is one. So his head is very small. His head is one. It's more small. Maybe it's a big one. Okay, the other difference is his hair. We don't know how to do it. It's very easy to see. This dog is very easy to see. This dog is very easy to see. You put this dog on his head. It's very easy to see. This is a cipher. Okay, the cipher hair actually comes from. This is ah ya ya. This is from the outside and the inside both have hair. But this one, its hair is actually coming from the inside. The outside hair is hair. This is you need to grow these two differences. You need to focus on the other part. The other part is the same. Do you remember? They are all the same. One is the big one, the little one. Okay, so that's the difference. Any question before I proceed to demonstration? No? Everybody clear? I'll ask you a question now. You don't ask me. Okay, let's do the demo. Question demo? Hmm?
<laughs> this is Donny. He is American cocktail premier. He is not a show dog. He is not a show dog. He is actually just an adopted dog that nobody wants him last time and he actually adopted him. So when he came with us last time, he doesn't look like this obviously. But with our grooming, like I said, after understanding the standards, we are able to transform the imperfectness into as close as the great standard of form. Okay? He is not show dog, he is not going to be able to do it. He is just being in the middle of the world. He is not going to be able to do it, so my mother-in-law is so new. And we can just help him to do it well. And you can see that he is now but actually he has some skin issues last time. Uh, he, he has some skin issues, you can see he's taking some coat here, and then some taking some coat here. Actually, he has some skin issues, he's not good. You can see what he's doing. You can see what he's doing. After I studied ISCC with the Dermatite, who are not going to be good for her, I really learned a lot. And I get to make the skin under control, and she is much more healthy now, right? Oh, feels good, right? You? Okay, I hope so. And uh, with that, uh, because Mary and my dad, a good grooming, called preparation. The preparation for our basic grooming is the utmost important in order to get a good finishing. That is why our basic foundation is has to be strong. So with a good shampoo, good topical condition, the dog is able to produce a good coat, a good skin. Of course, with a good skin, only able to produce a good coat. And blowing is also very important technique. Blowing, very hot, very troublesome. Inside the blowing room, I just want it dry. But if you do that simply blow, the hair won't be made flat and nice like you want them to be. So. Uh, what you want to do the blowing, the back coat is so light that, right? So how you do it? You actually blow through the direction of the coat the, of the coat day. You want to lay this way, you blow this way. Obviously, you want to check the skin fine. Check one now. The skin looks fine, you know how the skin condition now, you know how to help the dog. Then you blow to the direction of the skin day. Okay, of the coat day. Everywhere, including the top knot here. You want to know this way. Not because of, ah, the dog keep, keep moving, ah, I just want it dry, ah, you know. That, that's not going to be a good finishing that you want. Okay? And for the long finishing here, you want to blow as straight as possible with a lot of brushing and combing. Okay? We need to be able to do this. We need to be able to do this. We need to shampoo her. She has a skin problem. She has a skin problem. So, uh, after good shampoo, good topical condition, you can use your support to clean it up. Then, blowing is very important. Don't blow it because you don't want to blow it. You don't want to blow it because you want to finish it. So, when you blow it, of course, you have to check it out. You have to check it out. And then, you have to blow it to the floor of the coat. It's not going to blow it. You don't want to blow it. It's not going to blow it. So, when you blow it, you don't want to blow it. Your head is also blow it. 每次我们吹不到它的干，因为它一直动来动去嘛。当然，那阵大风你吹也没干，你会不会动？所以我们要小心，明白它只是在怕什么地方。所以你的 low， 你的 nose， 你必须要你 hold it very closely， 紧紧的没。然后吹，所以你要很 light， flat， 没没。然后它的这个长的地方也是你要吹，直，吹，舒，吹，舒，舒直是你最好的朋友，因为它的毛太粗了，你怕。So, shoe is your best friend. You have to shoe, 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 shoe. So, shoe is very simple, but you have to have a good shoe, so you can have a good shoe. Okay? Okay. And also, remember what I mentioned just now? When grooming a Spaniard, natural, they have to look as though they grew that way. 
They have to look that they never do any makeup and they look like they still look very nice. But they still do a bit of moving up, so we do natural makeup. Okay, I'll show you how we do natural makeup. Um, I Groom,感觉的时候,最重要你要记得的是,你一定要把它做到好像,经常来着。就,用美的比较美。这里不要给他觉得你Groom了,因为我是剪它出来,它这样美的。你不要给它那种感觉。所以,怎样达成那个感
if number one thing you bring in the pocket spaniel customer, first thing you just do shave, 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 unless you're using 10, uh, I don't want to say. It. Use 7, uh, you know, longer bit, and you'll see a lot of gaps. You know, you know, shave the song, you know, you can't do it, it's all about it. Right? That's because the undercoat is not being cut out. Next time, try it. You cut out, then you shave. Your paper work will appear a lot smoother. Okay. And also, like the standard says, you have to look natural, right? So this way, do cutting or do a little bit of light stripping. Stripping means you bark the mouth, bark through the like Then it will help the top coat to lay flat to nicely like this. And also at the end, with the back coat lay nicely like this, it will blend very smoothly to the long finishing coat. You don't want the dog to have one, da -da -da -da, one line skirt. That is not natural, right? From this, you can see, so this is natural. This is what I call for, like a light movie, uh, light makeup. So this is one of the way of doing that. And um, yes, so how you do about it, how you go about it, is you pull the skin tight. Number one, you pull the skin tight. As if not, you will you can't really pull through because the meat is like this. So you pull the skin tight. And you lay your stripping knife flat like this, not like this. Otherwise, you will cut the skin and break the coat. Yeah, can you see? So you have to lay that like this and go like this. And this is the hair. Come on. Okay. And remember, I said Donny is just a doctor dog. He has a lot of flaws. His hair has a lot of not so nice thing now to show. So how do we correct it? How do we do correction doing? The dog is supposed to have a sloping top line, right? But obviously it's not standing right right now. Okay, and I see a bit. So you can see here is a little bit high, here is a little bit low, this is a little bit high, this is a little bit low. So the top line actually is not so nice. But we can help him to look nicer by only cutting the high spots. So that And yes, the side, okay, the side, where is the pattern line? A lot of people confused. Where does the transition from the short to the long? I have a one very good guideline that I learned from very good dog, right? Uh, what you do is, you place your thumb at the pin bone here. There's a bone here, you can find pin bone here. And you spread your hand like this. So this is your line, okay? Then you go to the front, you place your tongue at the breastbone. Find where is the breastbone, just now I'll show you, explain the breastbone here. Spread your tongue, spread your tongue like this. This is the line. Then these two softly connect to the center focal point, the center of the dog. So the dog will look balanced. This is one a very good way to show that the dog is in proportion and balance. But, bear in mind also, there's one thing to note is, usually the line falls at the widest part of the rib cage. Very low, the line falls at the This is our line. This is a very good line. If you say that the dog is really small, you can adjust it. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. But I will show you the answer to the general guideline to get the lines. Okay? So, let's continue to read the wrong thing here. Reason being is, the young show how the muscles like 
Remember, this is a muscular focus you mentioned. So you do more here. Show the tight muscle is very nice. Okay. So when I do this, I just hold on to the mid here so that it is tight and it's easier to cut. Because this area is very sensitive here. And this area is usually I just do it. I want, I want you to go through all the, you know, not so nice place. Uh. So you use the knee scissor at that area you cut. But this is how you do it. Stop at the line that I just showed you. Okay. Let's see. Then the shoulder, you do more at the shoulder too. Because the shoulder is supposed to have the well laid back. Well laid back means what? Right? This time I mentioned 45 degree out, 30 degree out, what out. Because from the point of shoulder here up to the with us is 45. Okay? We get the, from the point of shoulder down to the elbow. Elbow here, yeah? another 45. So to show off this angulation, you do more cutting. You make the bone pop up and show very nice angle. Okay? Much of the time to do that, as you can see, we are kind of there. So, next time, when you are grooming for your customer, this is your hand, not 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 your hand, and stay true to the grip that what is supposed to be. Okay? Oh, but if you insist, the people will tell you that they say, ah, I always people want to cannot accept that you don't people, you know. If they insist, uh, remember what you do is harding first, then shift. Then the people work will appear a lot smoother. Can you all follow? Okay? That's what we do. And remember also, if you were to take the shorter blade that you use, uh, the 10th, our famous mission blade, uh, you use number 10 and see, it's very hard to blend into the skirt here. It will look like one line, after that you will oh shit, I'm not going to blend this. Uh. It will take like one, one hour, why waste time, you know? Maybe you can try a longer blade, like maybe 7, 5, 4, to make it more natural. Natural, natural, natural. Don't forget. Okay? So that's about it. We're almost there. And because Tony has been maintaining him for a while, so his coat is pretty good shape now. It's a little bit high here. Can you see how much under coat you take it out? I can't imagine that this dog has so much on the coat. And this are going to be in your customer heart at home. So, do this away. Your customer will love you. And if you do this for like a Kubena, Husky, uh, all that, you can extra charge with your friends. This is an extra service. Okay. Hmm. Anybody want to try this? Look easy, right? Look easy and it's really easy, trust me. <laughs> as long as you don't cut the skin and break the coat, you don't do this. Okay, remember lay flat, yeah? And do more and high spots. Throw away the guns and cow the farm so that the lines are learned, they make. They will be cow it bigger. Here, we're going to do the tail too. The tail, same thing, is supposed to fall from the top line to the tail in a smooth position. But can you see there's a little dip here too? So Donny is not so perfect. Huh? So we're going to leave some uh, field coat here, field coat, so to fill up this place and we'll do the rest. Okay? The rest of the tail, so cut, 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 cut. Right? 
transition from the short to long natural again and also it will give the appearance and illusion that the dog has a longer ear more lean pendulous ear so the reason is like this so I do a soft V okay and soft V so it's smooth very naturally it's uh, very detailful at the edge here you don't want to shave the edge, you don't want to mix the edge. So, see the so it will be, but this is a fur, this is fun. You know, the chong duan jiao chang, it's kind of natural. It's not going to be a little bit of 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 a little I would use 10, do you think all this fuzzy hair is still curly curly a little bit, right? So for him, I like the teeth, that's well. Okay? Now, next. Remember, no cheekiness, that's not what mentioned. But for Dolly, he's a little bit up at the cheek here. Both now. So how do we correct this? Okay, I'd like to use number 10 now. I don't use 30 now because it will look too bulky here, because here not so much hair for him. I use 10, and I go off. Reverse. Go reverse like this. And stop at the lips. Get the lips behind this. I will stop right here. The lips here, right? I will go again. And stop right here. Just stop here. Because I want to lift this up and give more volume. So that this is very nice transition. Okay, leave this area first. We do shi hao, the whole ting zai, the the lips, the whole mian. Okay, so this guy can't just you just cheek cheek the cheek will come out. So next thing, you want to scoop up the eye shading. Remember here the bony thing you must show off. So you want to scoop it up. Then next thing from the corner of eyes. Oh, that has that bone. Ah, you didn't scoop out. Ah, you didn't shave out. Ah, that 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 out in the corner. That that special bone. That 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 Okay. okay, now we still need this part. But remember, the mother here has to square and the upper lips have to cover the lower lips nicely. But for Donny, it's not so much, not so nice. So what you can do is you stretch, 
put slug your finger in inside the mouth like this. Okay, and then you shake this area up. And usually this is the area will trap all the dirtiness, all the stain and all, right? So it is a good thing for them so that to prevent the bacteria. So the thing one, shape the turn your hard work. By doing just that, can you see the difference from this one covering and this one still like you know how to cover it? Right? So just a little bit, it makes a lot of uh, makes a huge difference. Okay? Then now we will come back to this part. This part still a lot of fuzzy hair, right? But we still need to make it a velvety look, very smooth. How do we do it? You may want to use an upside down stroke. You turn your paper this way. Okay, and you drag, just drag, like this. And by doing this, it will still give you a velvety finishing. The viscous everything is gone, but the thickness, the volume is still there. And the length is much longer. Remember the cream and the cream as well? So it is just the upside down and the it is so upside down and the 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 upside down the upside down and the upside down and the upside down and the upside and the upside down and the we are talking about the length here. One, two. Remember? Do you think Donny has a longer muzzle? It's very long. That's why it's not short off. Okay. So what we can do is we can use number 30, change it back to 30. It's very useful. Just one, just change a little bit here. Then not bad It's very nice to use. And we just shape the nostril area here. To give the illusion that the dog has a shorter muzzle. Pin on it, I think. You know, the but it is shift cutting it in. Give me the season, pin on it, I think. So, this is correct. Okay? So, now you can compare. This is what you do, and this is what you have to do. And you are able to see. Okay, now the next thing, we're going to do the short here. The short here, usually is for at the breastbone, about two to three fingers to work the breastbone. But why this come about actually? A lot of people for abuse is also because some people, some dogs, sorry, some people, some dogs, they have a ewe neck. What do you mean by neck? The neck dog chop, like this, like a bow long thing. So you don't want to show that. You feel like it's not good, it's so true. So if a dog knee is okay, it's not too bad. But if the dog has a ewe neck, you want to stop at where the ewe neck starts to go in. So the highest point at the ewe neck, then you stop. So it doesn't show people the, the weaknesses, I mean the ugly part. Up. So for dog knee, it's about two to three finger. But remember, you don't want to like this and you put this because you will change the mark area. See, I do the trigger here. But if I come down, it's different place already. So you have to you have to step the dog nicely and then you measure and here the mark here. So whatever. Okay, I'll just take this off. And this goes up and jump. And whatever cow leg, you stay inside the cow leg and shape the gaze. Okay, you want a very clean and tight short. But whatever upside here, you will use two of the red later, a little bit just outside to show a, a better, uh, to blend better the scene. Say this mouth and mouth is the same. You see the mouth and mouth is the same. This is the mouth and mouth is the same. cow leg, the cow leg, we will shape the gaze. So it will be very clean, very tight. Then the other side, we will shape two of the red and the red. So it will be very clean. So it will be very clean. 
It's all about each other. Okay, here's how we do it. We use pen. Remember, keep changing, yeah? If you will use this and forget to change, go on and yeah. Okay. And inside the cowlick. Oh, okay. You have to come here, don't we? Whatever cowlick inside the V. Oh, okay. When you do a breast bone here, you have to put the finger like this. Okay. Then you will feel there's two like like a then here. So whatever inside you think. Whatever outside, shape. So the chest will pop up. Okay? So if you know this is two sides, you can see it in the middle of the two sides. You can put it in the middle of the two sides. Then whatever in the middle, you will do. So your chest will come out. Hmm, you can put it in the middle of the two sides. Then whatever in the middle, shape. Okay? Shape all the way. All the way to the chin. I already marked it. I don't want to take it away. If you don't have any marks, you can take it away. It will run like this. You can see the two or three inches. It's not going to run away. Okay. Now, let's go to the chin. Okay. Now, let's go to the chin. Whatever outside here, can you see the cowlick here? You want to blend. You blend, mix the grain. Just a little bit, not too much. So that it saves your cleaning job later or blending. Just a little bit. But don't shave below the front or shoulder. Okay? Remember our 45 45. So if you shave up here, you're going to go inside and show a very ugly thing. Okay? So don't shave below it. Just how go on the front of shoulder. You see I'm shaking up here. Okay, so I'm going to go on the front of shoulder. Okay, so that's all good. Everybody? Okay? Okay, next thing. You want to show. You want to show the head. Remember the head has a dome, right? And the dome actually starts from Behind the eyebrow. A lot of people thought the dome is everywhere. The dome actually starts behind the eyebrow because they have to show the defined eyebrow. Remember we mentioned? So to show the defined eyebrow, you want to shape off this area. Now we turn again. And we just go like this. And Tony will just close the eyes. It's very good to me. And shape all the way to the rear there. Blend a little bit our against hair here just now. Okay? So the eyebrow is here for our shape to life. I can the down have the eyebrow to form the tail here. And so many shape is here. We never against enough here. So it's meant to be set in this either to say for our job box. Okay? And next thing. The dome. This dome. It's not like a goldfish. A lot of Malaysians like to leave this like a goldfish. You know, the goldfish here, a big cake here. So, no, for standard, it's supposed to have a slight, a very nice dome without exaggeration. You can be quite a bit. It's not a big one. So, we can do it like a big one. Like a big one. Like a big one. Like a big one. No. Okay? And her mouth is like this. It's not like this. It's not like this. The relationship is like this. Okay? Okay. So, what you want to do is, you want to leave like a V here first. Like a V here first, yeah? Because the, the dome actually starts from outside corner of eyes all the way, half moon, to another eye here. Okay? So you want to leave this V, you don't shape first. Uh -uh. Okay, good point. Whatever inside, keep outside shape. Okay? So this V, we leave it. Whatever inside, Later, why I don't want to shave? Because I want to use thinning scissors. It will give me a better finishing that I'm looking for. So the V here, outside, right? Outside is shaving. It's just like, um, 
blending the 30 and the 10 here also. Remember, just now use 30 here, right? And we blend here, the B, and here as well. So that's where our dome starts. And another V. Another V. You know, see? So sorry, don't come over here. Okay, another V is they supposed to have an arch. Remember? That's how you mentioned like a V there. Yes. The arch is, now need can you show a little bit here? It's arch here, right? Go in, come up. So in order to show the go in and come up, this part, go in, we use the knee scissor return. But here, what about here? Same thing, leave a V here. So now it's V and V pointing at each other. Huh? Okay, got it? Then this V, also whatever outside shape, whatever inside it is. Okay? So, shape the V at the V here. So, in the arch of the net is very nice. Can you see the net, the arch is getting more obvious already, even though I haven't used thinning scissors to blend. It's a little bit clear come up to you. Okay, I think, I think so. That's all about my paper work that I'm going to do for proper. That's all. We can put this aside. Okay, next. We're going to do thinning work. Thinning, thinning, thinning work. And this one is very, very hotter, right? So, don't so marry first, wait first. Now, first thing, you want to do, you want to blend this area where I did just now. Okay? But before that, this dome, do you think Donnie is a little bit too much here still? The dome is supposed to be a smooth dome, right? It's still a little bit too much. So, what you can do is, you also can do cutting. Yes. You also can do the cutting at the top knot. So, in other words, using this to help the cut to lay nicely too. Okay? It's okay. Okay, just taking time. Smile. Head up to the chin. Okay. 
Anybody know the bone structure of this dog? What does he supposed to look like? And me? You know, I know you know. Okay, like I mentioned, the point of shoulder meet one bone here, up to the readers, 45, and down to the elbow, elbow, 45. So 45, 45 years, what? Two shares. Yes, Wow. If you see clearly, let's look at the only step. Do you think the neck is really at here? The real Goni neck is only until here. It's very short. So, how do we create the illusion? So, now the neck is really at here. It's very short. Next, you talk about videos. Now, let's How? That's how we do it. It's either you want to do some hand straightening at the 45 degree. You want to do this at 45 degree so that it's 45 degree shown you see and stripping it. Okay? Or you leave your hand stripping part to Tangier later. He will give you a very good tutorial about hand stripping. Or some people prefer to use a longer plate, maybe seven or maybe nine, to click this shoulder area at a 45 angle down to the elbow. Okay. elbow. So it creates the illusion that this dog sounds quite long, but it's not. Okay. But another thing also I would like to teach you all is very interesting. That, that day I never tell you, right? This is the one. It's like an Indian barber. As you as you comb up, as you comb up at 45 degree, at the 45 degree, you comb up at this and you scissor. Give the illusion that you got as a leather shoulder back.你可以用水平把这个四十五度出来 
This is the American Cocker property. Down to the stifle. Just now the bend area here. 60. Down to the hop. Hop, ah. 30. Down to the ground. 19. 30. 30. 下去,转往那个stifle那边,60,下去hop,30,下去第三,90,this is what the standard calls for. Of course, don't need again, too nice lah, there was so to man, 30, 60, 30, 90, right? So, we can create the illusion one more time, 30, 30, there got 30 on this one, 90, okay, so, this area, what you can do is you go in your thinning scissor at 30 degree and undercut it. Undercut is what we put in the thinning scissor in the middle. Jian, 30 degree the angle. You don't want to top thin this area. No. Why? You want natural one. If you were to top thin the coat here, the coat won't lay nicely. The coat next time will here fly away. You say, I, I do a lot of carving, a lot of stripping, the hair seems like a little wire. Because you cut it. Don't ever do that. So you do undercut this area. Put the tail up first, so that you can see. The D here. And undercut. Oh, okay, pop, pop, let me go, yeah. Wait. Okay. So it's a lot tighter. You can also see the. 30 and you are here. Right? Okay, now, 30 is out. The 60 is 60 feet out to show a lot of the hair, right? So, what they only can do is when they run. When they go for dog show, they have to show that they have a very nice movement with the nice angulation. How do we do that? Bevel. It's time to do the bevel. So with the bevel, we are able to show the dog as a moderate evolution that the dog is supposed to have. So we will change to a curve, also sponsored by BDI. First time using it, let me try, no good, I'll tell you. <laughs> Later, not now. <laughs> Something from another mentor, right? A very good guideline to cut this level. Very easy to learn. That I also missed the cut a day. Okay, I'm going to share with all of you here today. You brush everything behind, you slap your finger to the hair here. Okay, brush everything, everything, everything. A lot of hair, I remember coming, 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 coming. Okay, but I can put the mouse with you over there. You want the table up? Oh, yeah. Don't need to hang up. Help me to put the table up. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, Donnie. Okay, okay. Let's get it again. Down here. Okay, now 
And another guideline is you may find that is the last ring. Then 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 Remember, the dog is slightly long, but you don't want it to look very long. You still want them to look compact. So if you were to do two times, it's quite a long way to go. Like that, right? Not here so short, here so big. Lah. Usually, the proportion is about two and one. Another general guidelines. So the dog overall will look very balanced. So usually for Donny, he's quite not not too bad. Lah, no flaws here. So about the last thing here now. Ah, uh, yeah, guys, here already, right? Caesar, I mark it. This is where the cup is for the yao xian to cut it in. I say mark the xian. Then this area, we're going to bring this line up to the cup. Okay. 
Okay, same thing. Now, next is to bring the first line up to the takap. Okay. So this line. That's takap here, Structure is as such. Because 
to the boy. <laughs> so, but we can also show that he is a very good body doctor. When you do this underlying for young people, you do this like a呃上去啊就下来吧就是你的脚的啊没有直没有直的有些人就做 
of course we never grew on the other side. That's the other side of hair, but just pretend that the hair is not there, yeah. So okay. and we have a American Cotton Spaniel Shaw Shield. And to stack them, to present them I see. Thank you. 